Hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm teaching you how to make these DIY henna lanterns. And for this we use the Dollar Tree lanterns and these are great because they already come dyed. I did buy a clear one so that I can teach you how to dye them that really pretty sea glass color. So for this you're gonna need some metallic paint, some Mod Podge, food coloring, and if you wanna use stencils, you can just print out a henna pattern from the internet and cut it out. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a little bit of water and you're gonna spritz it on the back of the paper just to relax it a bit and have it actually stick to the inside of the glass. So you insert it and position it where you want to, and then you can also take a little bit more water just to have it pressed down. Then what you're gonna do once you have it in the position that you want, just to make sure it doesn't move, you can add a bit of regular tape just to keep it in place. So I really didn't need to do this, I'm just doing it for video purposes because mine actually stuck with just the water alone. So for this, we grabbed the metallic paint and this metallic paint already came with a tip which is awesome and helped a whole lot. Um, and I basically just traced over it and the designs that were too small, like the little circles, I just made those into dots. And I made sure that I worked from the left side in so that I wouldn't be smudging anything with my hands later on. So depending on what your dominant hand is, you might wanna keep that in mind if you're tracing or if you're just drawing one out on your own. So if you happen to make a line too thick or too thin, you can always just go in with a wet napkin and rub it off, or you can wait till it dries a little bit and then just scrape it off. And then you're gonna set this aside to dry. So for the other ones I did freehand and I show you a little bit here on how just, how I did it. You guys can do whatever design you want. You can use all stencil, you can freehand all of them, but I just wanted to give it a go this way um, and see which way I liked better. And in the end, I kind of like freehanding it a little bit more, but I do regret not using the same method, which is start from the left and then go to the right. So these are the two that I made. And when I was done, I went back to the other one and it was completely dry and I removed the inside and all of the tape. And then with my Mod Podge, I went in with another glass and added Mod Podge, enough that would cover the inside of my jar. And then I added a little bit of water just to make it a little bit runnier and some food coloring. So then you're gonna mix this up really well until you get the desired color. And once you have it to the color that you'd like, you just pour it directly into the glass. And you can always mix up more if you don't have enough. And you're just going to swirl it around until it covers the entire thing. And eventually you are gonna to have to turn this upside down. But this is why I let the gold dry first. Because I wanted to make sure that I didn't smudge anything. So then on a piece of aluminum foil, I just placed it upside down and let all of the paint drip down. Once the paint was finally dry, it wasn't gonna be completely dry, but finally dripped down, I put the jar on a cookie sheet face up and I set it in the oven for 15 minutes at 200 degrees and this is what it should look like. I did go ahead and bake the other two at the same time. And that's it guys, that simple. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more DIYs. Thanks so much for watching.